Usyk versus Fury. Thanks to Yemi B, uh, I didn't know this about Usyk's been stripped of his belt, and my first reaction was, well, he's got nothing in his system, and they they can't prove he's taken anything. Well, then um, he's innocent. But definitely looks dodgy, like from the camera angle and the timing when he allegedly may have took an inhaler and then went on to give um, Tyson Fury the hardest round of the fight of his fight at the, in the later rounds as well you know when people are normally starting to gas out um, just giving them people to know this will be a, a, a topic uh, next bit of drama, whether Uzi keeps his belt or not. It's been suspended. Belt's been taken away, which means no rematch. Um, just changing the top subject a little bit. When he could have knocked him down in the ninth round, I see people saying that the referee could have stopped the fight. No. Referee had two choices, either let Uzik carry on until he knocked him onto the floor and then gave Fury the count. Or give him a, he did nothing illegal by giving him a standing eight count when he looked like, I mean it's, it's, it's normal, it happens all the time in boxing, it's just when it's, you know, one of the biggest boxing matches of the decade, everybody looks into every single little detail. So, um... The, the referee, people saying, "Oh, he's the worst referee in history." No, he gave the uh, he gave Fury a standing eight count, which is basically up to the referee. He could have let uh, Uzik carry on and finish him off, and then knock him down. We've seen Tyson get up after being knocked down before and give him an eight count, or could have given him a standing eight count. And the fact is, is that after the eight count, Fury still carried on. So. You know, he was still, um, you know, right to the end. Um, see, I don't really know how they score boxing, you know, how the judges judge a, a fight. I mean, different countries, different places, different arts, different rules. You know, I can only go based on what I know in Muay Thai is that they only score the last two rounds. And if you knock someone down in the first round and then you, you're more dominant, in the fourth and fifth round, you, you'll win on points. The early knockdown is insignificant. And also the ability to endure pain as well, um, uh, also is a, a factor when they're scoring. You know, for example, if you're hitting the person with the hardest punches you can possibly hit, and it's not really having any effect on the opponent, then that also works on the person that's been hit's favor. You get you get points for defence as, as well as um, attacking so um, it, it, with regards to you know if, if it is proven beyond a shadow of doubt that Uzik cheated which I don't know at the moment then this is very serious because there's been a lot of people putting money down and placing bets um, it's a serious case of fucking fraud if he hasn't gone by the rules because he won the he won the fight, so people that put a bet on him to win, they'll be happy counting their money. But the people that bet it on him to lose, well, fucking hell, man. I wouldn't like to be a bookie like, or in charge of any unlicensed fucking bookkeeping because it's fucking fraud at the end of the day. It's, it's fraud. There's not a way to describe it. Um... Let's just hope that he's, um, he's proved innocent and um, the belt's still standing and the rematch goes forward like so.